Good morning, kings and queens. Hope you're having a beautiful, blessed, amazing day. Today is another motivational day where what I make sure we do is I always come in here and I'm always just giving you encouragement words and I'm always telling you no matter what you're doing right now, you are blessed and you're highly favored. Only thing it takes now is for you to go out there and do everything that God wants you to do. Shouts out, sis. You say I changed a little in- introduction. So now they should understand right now what we're here for. I might always need you, you know, to post up the, you know, the YouTube like you normally do. You know what I'm saying? Because in here, we make sure that the only thing we're doing, we stand with God first. We stand with family second. And then the last and final thing, and these are how I do it. Make sure you encourage everybody around you, no matter what. Today's video is a real good video because yesterday I just had an amazing, amazing day at church. You know, yesterday was Palm Sunday. I had an amazing church because, amazing day at church because as it was there, Pastor Lee was saying that a lot of people don't go to church on Easter because a lot of people don't get invited to church. So y'all gave us flyers. And what he told us to do is when you meet somebody, get them a flyer. And it tied back into this message because when you meet people, do they meet the real you or do they meet somebody else? See, when somebody meets me, they're going to meet Kyle Jack or they're going to meet me where they meet me on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or they meet me on any social media platform. They're meeting the real Kyle Jacko. So ask yourself in your life, are they meeting the real you? What I mean, are they meeting the real you? Are you that same person that goes around, speaks to people, pray for people, and uplift people? Are you that person that's negative off the app and get on the app, you act more negative? Are you that person outside of this app where you worry about friends and family and everybody's around you to let them grow? Are you that person that gets on the app and one thing you do is you want to belittle everybody around you? Let me let you understand this right here. No matter what you're doing outside of this app, you still need to be who you are when you come on this app. You need to be the person that makes sure what he does is he always prays for people. He always encourages people. He always uplifts people. Why are you tearing down God's children when nobody turned you down when you was in your making season of your life? Why are you trying to build? Why are you trying to not build people? Are you trying to take people down because today wasn't a good, wasn't a good day for you. Instead of you trying to make nonsense on the app, why don't you make grace and glory on the app? Why don't you say, you know what? Instead of me doing everything negative in my life, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uplift somebody. I'm going to pray for somebody. I'm going to keep on being who it is for me. Let me tell you something about the man that I am. I'm that same person that will pray for you. I'm that same person that will encourage with you. I'm that same person to make you laugh. I'm that same person that will tell you what God's telling me right now. I don't care what circle I'm in because guess what? I'm not made for everybody and neither are you. Stop changing up to fit in the circle because half of the time the people that's in the circle, they don't even know they are anyway. I need you to change up everything in your life and be the best person that you can be, whether they like you, whether they follow you, whether they call you, whether they text you, whether they say your post or not. I need you to understand this right here. You was made for a time like this, and this is your verification that God loves you. Every time you went through something in your life, then God always pull you through. God always pull you through when you went through something, right? Why would he stop now? Every time when somebody talked about you, God made sure he gave you an armor plated so you can be okay. So you can look at everything that's negative and say, you know what? You can't stop me. You can't beat me. You might as well join me. God has always been protecting you in your whole entire life. So since he's been protecting you in your life, why are you worried about if people like or love you or not? Remember this right here. God sends you the circle of people that's made for you. But a lot of times what we do is we love to keep people around longer than what it's supposed to be. And in this season, I need you to understand, stop trying to keep people around that mean you no good. And this is right there, something very, very important to me because I have friends that I've been knowing for a long time. I love all of them. I really, really do. But I understand the journey that I'm on right now, they're not made for me. And I'm not made for them because I can't change them and make them any more believable in Christ as they can be. The only thing I can do in this season is do what I'm doing now. Making sure when I see people, make sure I pray for people, make sure I encourage people, making sure no matter what I'm doing, anything that comes to my mouth is going to be about God, it's going to be about family, it's going to be about fitness. I'm not going to lie, so we're going to laugh a lot. People that know, they know we're going to laugh a lot, but they also know that I'm that same person that I was seeing in a Bible verse 
in 2.5 seconds. I'm that same person. If I see you're having a bad day, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to clown and joke all the time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say what's wrong with you. What can I do to help fix your problem? I'm going to do this right here. Whenever you're going through something, I'm going to pray for you. I don't got to be on the phone with you, but I hear what you say. I'm going to pray for you. I'm that same person. If I see you in Atlanta, Georgia, and you broke down on the side of the road, I ain't going to keep on going because I don't got the time to do it. I'm going to stop because I know it's my willing vessel to do. I know that at the end of the day, I have to be who I am right now because what's the point of standing up and saying, I play a game, I'm God's child, and I can't take care of the children that God has on this earth. Why would I not go out here and help the community when I can help my son? I can help my sons and daughters the same way I help the community. What I'm trying to tell you is I'm the same person whether the app is on, the app is off. Once I do this video and I click out the app, I still got to be Kyle Jacko. I cannot just be this here it can't be Kyle Jacko outside of here so I need you to understand you need to be the same person that speaks about the Bible on this app you need to be the same person that loves people on this app and if you don't if you don't love all these things I just said it's time for you to do a self-reflection in the mirror and see why you can't be that see why you can't go out there and just keep on telling people great things why you can't pray for people why you can't encourage people why you can't tell me are you having a good day are you, you're blessed and you're out of Why you can't do it? Sometimes people can't do it because they have no glory, no blessings in their life. Sometimes people can't do it because they try to look good for others. Sometimes people can't do it because they can't look in the mirror and see what the, who they are. Sometimes they can't see it at all. Like, they have trolls everywhere you go. And I'm so glad that even the trolls of life that they have on this app, guess what? The trolls of life on this app are still in the world. And the only thing we can do right now to make them feel good is learn how to ignore them and pray for them. Learn no matter what you're doing, I have to keep on doing what God wants me to do. I can't worry about anything else that God wants me to do. So in this season right here, I have five things that I want you to do for me right now. Not just for me, but for yourself. The first thing is get closer to God. If you're not close to the guy right now, get around somebody that can tell you more about it, find you a church home. Look, you Google everything else. Go ahead and Google it. That's the first thing. The second thing, get you a prayer circle. And that prayer circle could be just you and your homegirl. Let me matter of fact, let me use two. Aisha and Tay. Them two right there, that's a prayer circle. Why I say it's a prayer circle because they talk about God. They pray for each other. But also at the same time, they still know how to be relatable to other people. That's another one. The third one. The third one is this right here. Looking in the mirror and understanding your assignment. Understand the assignment that God has you on. And if somebody does not fit your circle, to learn how to leave them if they don't fit your circle. You don't got to curse them out. Just leave them. Understanding that right now. Understanding your assignment. The fourth thing is, and it should have been the first one, but I put it as a fourth one. Learning to love yourself when nobody else loves you in this season. Learning to look at yourself and say, you know what, I got to do better. Learn to look in the mirror and say, you know what, I have to do better. I have to love who God designed me to be. I have to look in the mirror and I have to say, you know what, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored no matter what. The fifth and final thing, understanding kings and queens, you are the prize. Understanding that no matter what you're going through right now, God still loves you. He didn't make a mistake when he made you. Understanding right now, it is your winning season, no matter what they say. No matter what they tell you, no matter what they text you, no matter what they do, no matter what's on social media, no matter what anybody tells you, this is your winning season. You have made been made for a time just like this because guess what? No matter what negative things you go through, no matter what they say about you, is... God created you to go through trials and tribulations, but the trials and tribulations become testimonies. God created you not to be popular on TikTok, not to be popular on life, but God created you because he knows how great you are. He knows whenever you go through your trials and tribulations, when you go to times where you're crying right now and it hurts right now, you can stand up against all the enemies that the devil is sending you and say, you know what? I stand with God no matter what. Those five things right there are made for you. If you missed the message, go to the YouTube channel of my sister friend up there. Go to the YouTube channel. You can check it out if you want to. If you don't, it's cool. Just understand that no matter what you're doing in your life, you're blessed and highly favored. No matter what's going on, this is about to be your greatest season.
But I know you hear it all the time. They always tell me it was my greatest season. That I, but do you believe it? <laughs> I believe in the 2025. I believe in 2024. I'm still believing it. That even though I go through trials and tribulations and everything else I go through, I know that I'm going to win no matter what. But this is your first time coming here, man. We do something here where I don't know if you know anything about it, but what it's called. It's called a prayer. So, yes, in this video, what I make sure I do is I make sure I pray in every single video because I want you to take this prayer. And when the enemy tries to knock at your front door, the enemy going to say, oh, man, they already got the prayer. They already got the Bible verse. You already motivated them. I guess I'll try back tomorrow. Nah, devil, I'm going to be here tomorrow, too. Monday through Friday, I'm always going to be here. But if you're not driving, make sure, if you can, close your eyes right now and draw them in the prayer. If you're driving, please do not close your eyes because you might not make it to the next one. God, as I come to you right now, God, I want to say thank you for everything you do in our life, God, for the good, for the bad, for the ugly, for the haters, anybody that's around, God, thank you for everything because, God, how can we see all the positive we can't see negative in life? So, God, as we see some negative things in our life, God, I pray right now what happens is we just keep on motivating others. We motivate ourselves. And, God, we learn how to cut ties from people that don't belong in our circle. We learn to cut the ties, but we learn to still pray for them in their season. Because, God, once we pray for them in their season, God, they will get past in their season. They don't even need to be connected in this season right now. God, thank you for for the kids in this world that's going through everything they're going through. Thank you for them because, God, pray. I pray that they meet great teachers, they meet great counselors, they have people that's around that embrace them, pray for the moms and the dads for everything they're going through with the kids, and I pray for what the kids understand is no matter what's going on in their season, God, they have that strong mother, that strong grandmother, that strong uncle, dad, father, God, whatever king and queen you put in their life, to show them no matter what they're going through, God, it's going to be okay. God, I pray for anybody now that's going through any financial situations right now, God, I pray that, God, whatever they're going through right now, it changes, but God, they learn how to manage their money. They learn how to use their money in the correct places. And they learn that no matter what they're doing with their money right now, they always have to understand this, that God is lessons to everything we do and they hope they learn from them lessons. God, I pray for anybody that just been placed from homes right now. God, I pray that you get them shelter, you get them food, you give them everything they need. God, I pray for anybody right now that don't know anything about you, God. You send them the right prayer circle. You send them the right friends. You send them the right family. God, if it's social media, you send them the right live for them to get into. You send them the right TikTok or YouTube or anything they want to get into. You send them the right place that they can be into. So, God, they can get close to you. And, I, God, I pray that whoever's watching this video right now haven't found their church home, they'll find their church home. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> Look how good God is. Somebody sent me an invite and I had my eyes closed with prayer. I didn't even see it. Look at God. Hey, I love y'all no matter what. If you miss this live right here, my sister's about to get to put it up one more time. I would love for you to share this to your friends and family. If you feel led to if God tells you to send it to him, go ahead and send it to him because I know one thing, it's a message within the message. And that's why I love that I have bullet points about everything I do in my life because it starts one place and it goes another, but it all wraps right back up in the guide. So if you have not, make sure you go up there, click the link. It looks like not click the link, but look and see where it says Kyle Jacko. If it's your first time coming there, thank you for coming. Monday through Friday, I will be here. 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., or 12 Guess what? That means I don't have time for you yet. I just do what God wants me to do it. And the last thing I got to say to you is go out there and be blessed. Go out there and just be the blessing to the world. Go out there and love yourself. Go out there and understand this is your winning season. Understand God made you for a time like this. You're not in a negative season. You're in a positive season. You're just going through a testimony season. But it's your first time here. Guess what? Say his name. God, let's go. I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow morning. Take care. Be blessed. Keep a smile on your face no matter what, because God loves you at all costs.